everyone, welcome back. Let's get started on lesson 15, comparing fractions. Okay, so I want to start with something really, really important about comparing fractions. I want you to take a look at these two fractions and think about, are they easy to compare the way they are? Hopefully you're thinking no, because they are different shapes they're really hard to compare. So when you're comparing two fractions like one third and one fourth, we really need the whole to be the same size so that we can compare them. Ta-da! Now it's much easier to compare because these two whole things are the same size, same shape, and so now, which fraction amount looks greater? Good job, one third looks a little bit bigger than one fourth. All right, now I wanna show you one more fraction with a one as the numerator. We have one third, one fourth, and one sixth. Which fraction is the least? Okay, good. If you look at the amount, one six takes up a lot less of the whole than one third or one fourth. So what do you think about this? As the, new, as the denominator gets bigger, what's happening to the fraction size? Okay, great. Hopefully you said the fraction size is getting smaller as the denominator gets bigger. That's because, if you're wondering why, that's because if you have more pieces, so the denominator is the total pieces, if you've got more pieces, they have to be smaller because you're cutting the same thing up into more pieces. So think about if you cut it into 12 pieces, it'd be a lot smaller. Mamma mia, let's slice these pizzas. If we ate one fourth of this pizza, and three eighths of this pizza, I want you to think about comparing these two pizzas and we're going to try using a comparison symbol. So it's either going to be um, greater than, equal to, or less than. Now our last video was on equivalent fractions and that can really come in handy when you're comparing two different fractions, especially like these two. We can see that one-fourth is equal to or equivalent to two of these pieces, so two eighths. So that means that three eighths must be greater, okay? And so if you need to look back at the equivalent fractions video, that would be great if you need a little bit more on that. Also, I did a video on comparing whole numbers, and this is my trick that really helps me a lot. So my bigger fraction gets two dots, my smaller fraction gets one dot, and then I just connect the dots. Okay, I gave you another problem to work on. What do you think? Three-fourths compared to three-eighths. Okay, hopefully you didn't get fooled by this eight sounds bigger, but when you look at the picture, that's why I love having a picture of each fraction. If you look at the picture, that's definitely smaller slices. So three bigger slices is going to be greater than these three small slices. So we're going to give that one one dot. We're going to connect the dots. And if you were to read this statement, it says three fourths is greater than three eighths. Here's one more example for us. So this one can be kind of tricky without a picture. 
because look, three and four, they're just one away. So that means one slice is not shaded in. And the same for seven, eight, seven out of eight, that means one slice is not shaded in. And so if you're just looking at that, it might be hard to compare, but with a picture, we can see that this takes up less space than these seven slices. It's a smaller slice that's not shaded in compared to this one. So that means that seven eighths is bigger and three fourths is smaller. Okay, so then I'm gonna connect the dots again and I can read it like this. Three fourths is less than seven eighths. Okay, and then there are some fractions that you can compare using not pictures, but just frac what I call fraction sense. So we have one half compared to six eighths. So what do you guys think? All right, so you may have some different answers. We know that half of eight is four, so four eighths would be the same amount as one half. And so six eighths is bigger. So I can use my symbol like this and say that one half is less than six eighths. Okay, and here's another one where we don't necessarily need a picture and I'll show you why. So we've got two tenths compared to three fourths. Okay, so if we use our fraction sense of thinking about halves, we might be able to tackle this one without a picture. So what is half of 10? Okay, good, it's five. So five tenths would be a half. Okay, what is half of four? Okay, good, two. Two fourths would be equivalent to a half. So this one is bigger than a half. This one is less than a half. So this one has got to be the smaller fraction then. We're gonna give it one dot. We're gonna give three fourths two dots. So see how you can use some things mentally in your head to figure out which fraction is bigger. Okay, now I want you to pause the video and work on these however you'd like. If you wanna draw a picture, that's great. If you wanna to try to use some of your fraction sense, that's great too. And then we'll solve these together.